Mr. Hero, think about it. Mr. Hero, prepare fresh for you. George? And George here for the Ohio Lottery. With just two George Washingtons, you can... Get a cherry tree chainsaw. Pocahontas. Oopsie. <laughs> With two dollars, you can play twenty thousand dollar payout. You could win up to twenty grand. Twenty thousand dollar payout. One of the Ohio Lottery's new two dollar games arriving every month. Two dollar instant games. Where two George Washingtons can win you so many Ben Franklins. That's me. President Obama says he'll move us forward, but where's he taken us so far? America's worst economic recovery ever. Twenty-three million of us without full-time work. Family incomes down. Forty percent living paycheck to paycheck. And Obamacare's new tax on middle-class families. All while Obama racked up five trillion more in debt. Is that really forward or backward? American Crossroads is responsible for the content of this advertising. Closed caption is brought to you by the injury lawyers at Elk and Elk. At Mattress Matters, enjoy up to 60 months same as cash on a new Tempur-Pedic mattress complete with an ergo adjustable base for only $65 a month. Hurry in today and get up to 60 months same as cash and same day delivery on Tempur-Pedic mattresses only at Mattress Matters. I'm Barack Obama and I approve this message. It's a promise that was made long ago. You work hard, pay in, your Medicare benefits are guaranteed. But Mitt Romney would break that promise. Replace your benefits with a voucher. Insurance companies could just keep raising rates. Instead of a guarantee, seniors could pay $6,400 more a year. AARP says the plan Mitt Romney supports undermines Medicare. Mitt Romney, an end to the Medicare promise. Fox 8 Coffee Quiz is brought to you by McDonald's. Check out the Cherry Berry Chiller, a burst of cherry and raspberry flavors blended with ice and 100% fruit juice. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Days after an officer is injured in a hit-and-run accident, we're learning new details about his condition and how you can help his family. Taking those hard hits on the field, why do some players get a concussion while others don't? A lot of new faces on the X Factor this season, but one you may have not heard about yet. Fox 8 News at 10 continues now. Cleveland's own Fox 8 News. The family of a Michigan police officer injured by a hit-and-run driver is pleading for the public's help in finding the person responsible. Now, this week, we spoke to the officer himself, and now his family says his condition has gotten worse. Our Kevin Freeman is here with details. Well, he and his family certainly need prayers. The officer lost his leg in the accident, and now he has been downgraded to critical condition due to complications following surgery. But people in Northeast Ohio are rushing to help out his family, and police continue searching for the driver who hit him. He's completely on a ventilator. He's not breathing on his own. It's tough. He's not, not good. 46-year-old Robert Belak's family describes his condition just two days after he spoke to Fox 8 from his hospital bed at Metro Health Medical Center. His wife, Ginger, says Thursday he suffered complications after surgery. And then when they went to clean up his wound and to close him up, um, he had a little setback um, as they were taking the tube out of him. Um, he vomited and then he aspirated. Uh, I no sooner got to the side of the road than uh, I was impacted from behind. Um, no brakes, no nothing. It was um, quite literally a highway speed impact. On Wednesday, Belak, a police officer in Pinckney, Michigan, and a father of six, described to us how he had pulled over his motorcycle on I-71 on Tuesday when he was hit by a car that kept going. The impact severed his leg, but he managed to create a tourniquet from his coat to prevent himself from bleeding to death. You know, this guy, he's got to feel it. He's got to know it. His conscience has got to get the better of him. If there's a mother out there who knows that her son was in an accident, that she needs to call the police department and turn him in because I'm appealing to her as a mother. If you see anything, know anything, any little bit is helpful. It may, it may be something useful and it may not, but every little bit helps count. And that's what we want. We want the person that left and was heartless to, to be found. He is a wonderful yeah. husband father and son. He is a very good athlete. He always was. 
The Belak family says they are grateful for the prayers and support they have received during their unexpected stay in Cleveland. The Cleveland Police Patrolmen's Association has even set up a fund to help the family get through their ordeal. As a union, we just support other officers out of the state. Um, and we hope that one of ours, if they were out of state and got in one of these accidents or tragedies, that we'd be supported too. I was not expecting it at all, but I'm thankful. Thankful so many caring people. Now, if you would like to help the BLAC family, you can make a donation to the Cleveland Police Credit Union. Their address is 2301 Payne Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44114. And you can also find that information on our website, fox8.com. Now, police are looking for a 1990s model beige metallic Buick LeSabre with damage to the front right panel. They will also be missing a right hubcap and mirror. And it also turns out that one person who helped him right after the accident is from his same town in Michigan. Well, our thoughts uh, to the family and to the officer tonight, Kevin, thank you. Well, here's a look at the top stories tonight in Fox 8 News. At 10 o'clock, patrol stepped up at Copley High School's football game tonight after two students are suspended for making threats of violence on Facebook. Police say they posted pictures of firearms online and directed threats at band members. Detectives say students were never, ever in any danger. Westlake schools responding after a case of MRSA is brought to their attention. They say a student at Lieber in middle school contracted the infection at an off-site location. The student has not been back to school since being diagnosed and receiving treatment. The district has put procedures in place to prevent the spread of MRSA. A warning tonight from the Cleveland Division of Water. People who live in eastern suburbs of the city are experiencing discolored water. The water is safe to drink, but you should avoid doing laundry because water could actually stain your clothes. Get a complete list of the communities affected by this at fox8.com. Just click Click on Seen on TV. Local college students find themselves stranded almost four stories off the ground where they have to be rescued from a water tower. Police department cameras catch the entire rescue. And tonight, Fox 8's Dave Nethers has that video. Alliance police cameras are rolling as officers find four Mount Union students ringing in a new school year, nearly four stories off the ground from a city water tower platform. You know, when school starts, the, the kids are before they really get involved in their classes. They're, they're probably coming in a weekend early, maybe getting a little relaxed, sometimes a little too relaxed, and they tend to do things that uh, they probably shouldn't be doing. With no easy way back down, the officers call for help from the city's fire department. Both of our ladder trucks are out of service at the present time. So uh, I sent the crew from base three up, which has uh, small ground ladders, and they attempted to effect rescue with the ground ladders, but they were too short. Well, this is how these students say they got up there, by climbing up these electrical conduits. That's quite a climb. But the firefighters say the students told them that they do this all the time. The Alliance Fire Department eventually sent a second truck with taller ladders and eased the students down one at a time. Lieutenant Johnson says one of them confessed he was afraid of heights. Either up or down, I wouldn't have done it. So... Neither way would I have used that to climb up or would I have used it to climb down. On Friday, representatives from the college and from the city were brainstorming a way to prevent it from happening again. In the meantime, the students were arrested and expected to be charged with both trespassing and underage consumption of beer or alcohol. City safety officials say the call kept them out of service for more than an hour and a half. With the fire department, they run their uh, first responder calls had they been needed at an emergency medical call, they're already tied up for these kids that chose to climb a water tower. I would like it to be the last time. In Alliance, Dave Nethers, Fox 8 News. Dave, thank you. The Cleveland School District kicking off a major project now to eliminate bullying in the classroom. Fox H. Lori Taylor says the kids she spoke with are very excited here about the possibilities. 700 students from the Cleveland Metropolitan School District arrived at the State Theater Friday morning for a viewing of Bully. It's a documentary film by Lee Hirsch, featuring five youngsters and their struggles with bullying, a struggle Damien Jodan routinely witnessed growing up in the Cleveland schools. It was something that everyone would see. A struggle to Quentin Taylor has endured more times than he can count. Uh, I bully a lot. Almost every day I can remember. 
Both the 14-year-olds go to the new charter school facing history, new tech, and were chosen to participate in the Not On Our Watch anti-bullying summit because of their leadership qualities. Now that they've seen the documentary, they'll join the other 700 kids to brainstorm ideas on how to eliminate bullying from the Cleveland schools. Not only are we going to show people that it's not right, we're going to push to make it to where it, it's something that no one wants to do anymore. And so the film allows for that dialogue to happen, and then once they have the dialogue, we hope that then they will go out into their schools and be those leaders. Pamela Donaldson from Facing History and Ourselves, an international nonprofit that works to fight bigotry, says her organization has developed a guide based on Bully, the documentary, for Cleveland teachers to use so they can keep the conversation going all year. Thousands of Cleveland school students will be transported to Tower City Cinemas next week so they can see the documentary for themselves and become part of the dialogue. It's an innovative approach to making schools safer, and it's only just begun. In Cleveland, Lori Taylor, Fox 8 News. Filmmaker Lee Hirsch, who has himself bullied for years, is on a mission to ensure a million kids see his In Your Face documentary over the next year. Well, the Akron Police Department is going high-tech to catch criminals. Today, they unveiled a new digital imaging video response team. It now has high-tech training and portable equipment that allows officers to easily retrieve surveillance video of a crime scene and release images of possible suspects to the public, including on social media, within hours. Police hope more cases will be solved and they'll be solved more quickly. In a good community, in a good neighborhood, people act as the ears, eyes for the police department and in a way that's what these cameras are going to be doing in the future because it will be a coordinated effort to be able to tap into those eyes, in this case, to quickly identify and capture the suspects uh, committing some of our uh, crimes. The police department is in the process of pre-mapping and registering all surveillance cameras to help. The Ohio Aerospace Institute today announcing a new initiative expected to create nearly 2,000 jobs and increase the state's aerospace exports by up to $90 million. With the project, OAI will connect state aerospace manufacturing companies with international manufacturers looking for parts and services based in the U.S. They'll get training sessions, supplier summits, workshops, and other educational tools to help in that process. So many people work in aerospace and have good paying middle class lives and good paying middle class jobs and in a lifestyle that um, is, is, has, has reached their dreams in many ways and um, aerospace plays such an important part of that. The project is being funded in part by a $166,000 federal grant. It is one of downtown Akron's treasures. Today, the Civic Theater celebrated the opening of its 2012-13 season. In addition to special ticket deals, visitors were treated to performances by Japanese drum ensemble, the theater's organ. Several community groups were also there, from the Akron Zoo to the Cuyahoga Valley Youth Valley. The Civic, which was built in 1929, resembles a castle inside, complete with Mediterranean decor and medieval carvings. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful. place. If you have uh, never seen it, mm -hmm. it's definitely pretty awesome uh, inside. pay a visit. Well, a man's attempt at getting revenge suddenly backfires. He is accused of trying to set up a passenger. How this all leads to an emergency landing. Chance for more storms tonight, then big changes, really big changes for the weekend. Angelica has the latest in her eight-day forecast. And don't forget, Friday night touchdown, week three, just minutes away. Join the whole crew for highlights from dozens of games all over Northeast Ohio. It all starts at 11. We'll be right back. September 25th, the new Fox Tuesday kicks off a new season of comedy that will tickle your funny bone. What am I looking at here? Pure, unadulterated friendship. It's a non-stop night of premieres, packed with heavy-duty laughs. God, you're such a jerk. The new Fox Tuesday premiere September 25th on Fox. Fox 8 News is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz of Bedford, a Penske automotive dealership.